eight confessions of my tongue. One. I have snuck past the borders of another mouth today, made an accent taste like kinship and watched myself drown in false comfort. There is always a countdown when you realize I am not fluent in Spanish. You expected the waterfall, the spit that crossed the ocean, the syllable suffocating dance, and it is a dance. This moving, weaving, searching, turning your back on what you can never keep up with. I contain so much sad brown mouth that I can't even pronounce Quiñones without a stranger examining the air it took to learn it too. Everything here is a thievious memory. A hungry thing gobbling itself into existence. I listen to Daddy Yankee, Evie Queen. Teo Calderon make a bastion for reggaeton in my throat but can't tell you what the song means. I yell Mark Anthony lyrics and think volume equates to knowledge. I tell myself it's not lying if I feel something. But I'm always the last one to yell wepa, forever late to my own identity. Three, my tongue is a countryless serpent. They whisper of my fraud on the block and in the classroom. But all I have to offer are these two false skins stitched into a name. I've worn so many of my family members' stories that I confuse my childhood for theirs. Four, I can't remember the last time I didn't use Google Translate to prove myself to a poem. Five, this means I am not as fluent as my poems. They are an imagined Latinidad where I taste the shore and it accepts me, where my grandmother wasn't spit on every day for not knowing English, and that never translated to her never teaching us, and you can see it in my father's amnesia. When I ask him about our indigenous language, and he laughs 6,000 dead bodies onto the dinner table, six. I practice self-torture in front of the mirror every morning. Mimic whatever words I stole to make myself a more Latin thing. Cambiará, servilleta, compañero. My skin, always mistaken for home. My last name, an invitation to strangers who say your parents should have taught you. But my parents say it's my fault. And I remember the first time I asked for help. When to use for, ibada in a sentence. And they said you just feel it. You're just supposed to feel it. Seven, I don't. Eight, my tongue is a gringo's last hope. A stutter beneath a foreign accent mark. A transcontinental thing stuck in its own ocean and so I flood Quiñones onto my mother's lap. Que vergüenza, she says. Now you don't belong anywhere.